But they're they're a great team, you know, and they um, I think they got a, a fouled on three point, and uh, that's inexcusable, you know. That kind of let them get comfortable and you know stop the clock, and uh, you know uh, that kind of helped them out. And but uh, uh, you know we were a fighting team, and uh, you know uh, during this time, you know a ten point lead means nothing. Yeah, you know the last couple of games. Uh, definitely was in myself and um, it, it feels great to be able to come out and you know that was my mindset is to be aggressive and you know coach was on me the last couple of days of practice just to you know be aggressive and um, so you know that's that's what I was I came out trying to do is just block shots and try to alter shots. Uh, Jeff with you tonight what he did for It was amazing man you know Jeff you know a lot of people give credit to John Hens and then you know Anthony Davis I take no respect for them they're great shot blockers but you know, I think Jeff deserves to be in that category also. That's what you come to Kansas for. Games like this. So, you know, I'm excited. Well, the game is 40 minutes long, so, you know, you can't get, you can't put your head down about three bad minutes of the game. So, you know, we kept our head, we stayed relaxed, and, you know, eventually we woke up. I think that our team is, is we're so good. We're so good when we want to be. Uh, when we want to be, we're so good because. We were down uh, at the beginning of the game, and I, I didn't even realize that we had come back. That it was it was that you know quick, and and it happened that fast. And it's something that we can do. We can go on runs, and, and it's it, it's not that hard for us to do. Um, I, I, I'm happy we got that in our package because they didn't lay down. <clears throat> Our team's not laying down this time of year, and uh, it's a little harder. To, to, to just, you know, put people down. Because although it may seem easy or it might seem simple uh, to them, that's the reason they're still here because they haven't been laying down. So I think that we still we still ended up getting the last punch and, and ended up, you know, coming out successful. But uh, nobody's laying down nowadays, so we got to close them better than that. But we're still closing them, so we're doing something right. Uh, no, Jeff is in his own mode. Uh, Jeff comes and he, he, he knows what his job is. It's, not really something that he has to hear people say to him or, you know, get in his ear or hype him up. Jeff knows what he has to do every night, and he comes and he tries every night. Definitely. Um, probably the best matchup this year that we're going to run across from one to five. And uh, a good program, uh, Coach Roy Williams over there. And I know he's telling them just as much good things as Coach Self telling us. And, you know, it's going to be a dog fight. It's definitely going to be a dog fight. I mean, maybe we would never came back from that 14-3 deficit. Uh, he did a great job of protecting the rim, like he said, and he probably prevented a lot of baskets from going in. I know when we were up one there at that last, what, 30 seconds or whatnot, he made a huge block right there on, off the backboard, too, that ended up getting out to Tyshawn, and that was huge. So, you know, we probably wouldn't be – we'd probably be talking about a loss right now if we didn't have Jeff. Well, I think Elijah's definitely stepping up with more confidence, and that's been huge. Um, Jeff's had his games. I think we have a lot of guys that can score. It's just, I mean, who, Tyshawn and T-Rob, for the most part, are the guys that we have the most confidence in and have proven that they can score. So I think that we, offensively still we haven't even played a, a very good game in the tournament, and hopefully we'll be able to get a good game on Sunday. Is that your first hand one of um, I think I've no, I think I've gotten a couple others, but I'm sure I can count them on two hands. <laughs>